I'm going to create these five separate videos and this is a summary of what's going to be in them. Uh, talk about Lester Dent's method, Stanley Jim Shooter, Algis Boudry's, Swain Campbell, Leonard Bishop, and my own adaptations. I started on this two months ago, intending to <clears throat> post all this before NaNoWriMo, and now it is after midnight, uh, November 4th, 2024. So I have not succeeded, was interrupted, you know, some of you know from previous, uh, my sister called, my mother was in intensive care. She lived about a month. There were times they thought she would die and times she, they thought she'd go home. She died and we've been busy with, with that. Then my wife was ill and also hospitalized. And so I have not got a fraction of the things done I intended to do. And it looks like this entire month is <laughs> fully scheduled. So I uh, work on this after midnight. Now, the reason I decided to do this was because I learned a little bit about my YouTube analytics and my most viewed video is Scene Sequel Writing History Notes, which I put up January 19, 2023. But most of my views, there's 749 views, were last November, November 2023 during NaNoWriMo, and from comments, most people were looking at information about scene sequel writing. So I refer you to this, it's about 17 minutes, and I'll just read this little portion here. Daniel Defoe wrote portions of Robinson Crusoe in scene sequel format in 1719. Scene sequel writing is not new. Walter S. Campbell considered the sequel to be one of the five parts of the scene. He wrote that in his 1940 and 1950 books about writing fiction. In Dwight Swain's 1965 book, Tricks and Techniques of the Selling Writer, he changed Campbell's five-part form to a six-part <coughs> scene Goal, Conflict, Disaster, Sequel, Reaction, Dilemma, Decision. Uh, the 1940, 50, and 65 books are shown in this video. So, um, now, uh, Lester Dent wrote, is best known for writing uh, Doc Savage. Pulp Fiction from 1933 to 1949. The first time I read his formula was in 1970 in this book. This is Jim Starenko's volume one of his history of comics. Starenko, history of comics. Copyright 1970 by James Tarenko. So let's flip over here. This is uh, Doc Savage, Doc Savage Pulp Fiction magazine. <clears throat> this is well before the Superman comic books. Superman character, Doc Savage, was called Superman was an advertisement from 1933, I believe. Man of mastermind and body. Follow his glorious adventures every month in Doc Savage magazine. Ten cents at all newsstands. After World War II ended, Lester Dent found out he's very popular with the reading soldiers. He was invited to speak at a... Uh, Veterans Hospital, and uh, he was overcome with emotion. There's all these wounded men, 
wanting advice on how to write. So uh, he created a form and uh, it was what he was already using and uh, no yarn of mine written to the formula has yet failed to sell it worked on adventure detective western and air war tells exactly where to put everything four equal sections first part now, as I said, this is just an introduction. I'm telling you what will be in the um, so he wrote uh, 165 novels using this formula, and he wrote them fast. So maybe this will help. Like I said, um, going on to the next item. All right, Jim. Uh, Jim Shooter and Stan Lee. Um, Shooter. And this book talks about the method that uh, Shooter learned from Stan Lee on how to write comic books fast. And he uses, Stan Lee used, and then Shooter used this 1965, uh, I think it was 65, Strange Tales. Let's see. Is the dates available here? I don't know when it is. So, um, Human Torch meets Captain America. And, uh, I'll go over, I have a separate video on that. Oh yeah, Aldris Boudris. Well, uh, Stephen King writes about Boudris a couple times in his book on writing, and I too had two messages from uh, Aldris Boudris. Uh, early decades ago in my writing career. And uh, the second one said I should buy this book, his book. And at that time it was just, he just, he was self-publishing. And this is the, I can't find my first edition. This is his newer edition. I may have bought this from Amazon. I don't remember. Writing to the point. And he has a seven part uh, pattern that he recommends. You have a character in context with a problem. They make reasonable attempts to solve the problem. They have unexpected failure three times, but each time reveals a uh, hidden facet of the character with trying to solve the problem. Then the fourth time is victory and part the end is validation by an independent. And again, I will do a video just about that. Um, Swain Campbell Bishop. Okay, most people know uh, Dwight Swain's book, or most people with, with some familiarity, Tricks and Techniques of the Selling Writer, 1965. But it says right here, in the original flap, uh, in a real sense, this manual is the natural successor to writing magazine fiction and writing advice and devices since Dwight B. Swain studied and worked with W.S. Campbell, author of those two classics in the field of fiction writing. So Swain says, right, uh, goal conflict disaster. And he has the sequel as a separate three-part 
finale. Now this is the 1940 book referenced uh, earlier, uh, writing magazine fiction, 1940, by Dr. S. Campbell. Magazine fiction. Back then, scene sequel was, here's the complete formula for the scene, may therefore be stated as follows, meeting, encounter, containing these possible elements, attempts, final action, and then the sequel. And the sequel has a state of, you know, status and the state of mind of the character. Now the final action here is equivalent to the disaster in Swain, but um, this isn't disaster. Win, lose, or quit. There are times you don't want a disaster in your, your writing. So now, I had a wonderful teacher named uh, Leonard Bishop, and he wrote this book, Dare to Be a Great Writer, and he wrote this to me, Bob Beatty, to Bob, I know you will be helped with this book. L. Bishop, Leonard Bishop, and he inscribed that to me, uh, 16 June 2001, Kansas Writers Association meeting, Wichita, Kansas, on South Oliver. That happened to be across the street from where I lived in the past. So. All right, and, uh, I'll just touch on this, but basically, what uh, Leonard Bishop thought, there was, uh, beginning in the 1960s, a novel structure started to sell, which he called the find and stop story. A fanatic leader of a zealous but misguided patriots planned to do something bad. The hero or heroes are assigned to find and stop the villain. Until the three-quarter marks of the novel, the villains become stronger, the heroes are in start, constant state of failure. That's disaster, disaster, disaster. Basically what he said was use Swain for the first three-quarters of the novel, and then Walter S. Campbell uh, for the last quarter. Um, and that's how you quickly write a novel. Now, um, my own adaptations I'll go into, uh, I don't, it's kind of lengthy, so I'm not going to get into it now, and this is already almost 14 minutes, so uh, this is my intention to put up, but I've told you enough, you can probably uh, do some research on your own if this interests you.